Hi, welcome to an overview of the new ECS air gap object solution. So we'll go through some of the CLI commands, the GUI, and walk through the basic solution. So right now we're looking at an SSH prompt. This is the vault agent. So we'll just switch to a topology view. So here we can see there's a server, two ethernet interfaces, load balancers, firewall, and this will run the vault agent. This is the production ECS. We already have ransomware defender deployed and eyeglass deployed. And we'll go through how the vault agent is configured. So the first thing you end up doing is adding the vault and the production ECS to the software. So I've done some of these steps already. So there's an add command. I've already done this. So I'll just list. There it is. You'll notice there's a push alerts. This is how we support in-band management. No out-of-band management required. So this will actually collect alarms and push these out to iGlass. So that's how that works. Inside the Vault agent, there's ECS sync. And it runs containerized and we can distribute multiple ECS syncs to parallelize the throughput and handle high throughput copies between ECS in production and ECS in the vault. So we'll switch over to the ECS sync interface. This is running inside. So I already have this configured, but you would basically create a configuration. You'd select ECS, you'd fill all this in, you'd fill in the target, for the vault and then when you're done you have a configuration now we won't be using scheduling here this will be left blank and that's because the vault agent takes control of the scheduling of the jobs once you've saved a configuration it will then show up here so let's take a look at the available commands so check jobs. This will look for any new ECS sync jobs on any of the instances. So we already have one. It also gives you the, the status of the last execution. So this gets detected automatically and synchronized into iGlass. So let's go take a look at what that looks like. So here we can see that same configuration is available here and it says not scheduled. So this is where we manage the schedule. So we will select this. This should be enabled. This is what to, is what we call the smart air gap. This will stop replication if there's any threat to your production data. And we'll hit the scheduling option. I'm just gonna change this to runs every five minutes for now. Typically this would run at midnight, but all the scheduling options are here. And then I hit save. There we go. So job never ran. So it's going to run every five minutes. That, that step is now done. So we'll go back to the CLI. And we'll check schedules. And we can see that's now reflected here in the vault agent. So we can also run the update jobs command. This will force pushing any new configurations. It happens on a schedule, but I can force this and sync this back into iGlass. So there's nothing new, so it's detected. There's nothing to do. So you can leave it to the schedule, but if you wanna force run a job, just to start, for instance, a full data sync, uh, you can do Start job. We'll just get the right syntax here. Yeah. Job. And the job that it's referring to is this name right here. This will open up the vault air gap 
and we'll start the job. We can actually see this from the Vault Agent here. No, not much data here. And it's already completed. So let's say that's how you start a job or set a schedule. And the reports and the history, it is available here, but this information is collected and synchronized. All the errors, the XML reports is available in the air gap user interface. So if we go there, uh, you'll have job history, shows you the history of all the jobs and the air gap reports rolls up all the reporting is also available here. And then these can be emailed out on a regular basis. So in band management, how's that handled? If we look at the alarms, we have managed alerts. So if we take a look at this, we can see the remaining capacity of the vault storage pool. And so this is how you would make sure there's no hardware issues or space issues on that vault. So this gives you a quick overview of how to deploy and use and operate the automated smart air gap object to object solution. This will also support CAS for replication as well. And that would allow you to protect any uh, legacy CAS data from production ECS to a vault as well. And as the diagram indicated here, you would more than likely enable uh, object lock and versioning on the vault. So as we replicate, we're going to lock any new object that gets synced. And of course that gives you an immutable copy.